We are assembled here today to join the business and diplomatic leaders from around the world to discuss and share important thoughts in the welcoming environment of Ras al Khaimah. The third edition of the Global Arab Business Meeting is organized by Harassus and jointly hosted by Rack Investment Authority and Rack Chamber of Commerce and Industries. To welcome the delegates, I would like to ask Dr. Frank Richter, Chairman of Harassus, to come to the stage. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, on behalf of Horasis, I'm delighted and honored to welcome you to the third Global Arab Business Meeting. The Global Arab Business Meeting, ladies and gentlemen, aims to be the premier platform for global leaders to meet Arab business leaders on an annual basis. We are witnessing the new area of change in the Arab world. In the convening this 2012 Global Arab Business Meeting, to reflect on this process of change, facilitating engagement and dialogue amongst business leaders and governments from the Arab world and beyond. My hope in bringing together CEOs of Arab and global firms here in Russell Heimer is that we will create a global partnership between the Middle East and the world in order to stabilize the global financial system through entrepreneurship innovation and education. In short, to allow both the Middle East and the world to better face the challenges of globalization in these turbulent times. The Horasis meeting is co-hosted by the government of Russell Heimer and it's my great pleasure and uh, immense gratitude that I thank His Highness Sheikh Saud bin Sakra al Qasimi, the ruler of Russell Heimer, for having had the foresight and commitment to host this Global Arab Business Meeting here in Russell Heimer. I also thank the Russell Heimer Investment Authority, Rakia, and the Russell Heimer Chamber of Commerce and Industry to be our host tonight. Many thanks to all our partners and participants, and please enjoy this Global Arab Business Meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Frank. Now I'd like to call on Mr. Alex Thomas, General Manager, Marketing and Promotion of RAC Investment Authority. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. On behalf of Rakia, I would like to thank and welcome all of you to, to this third edition of Global Arab Business Meeting. We are really proud to co-host this event along with RAC Chamber of Commerce that invites top decision makers from the region and abroad I can see uh, you know, people registered from over 38 countries, so that's great. Rakia is a nodal agency of the uh, government of Ras al-Khaimah responsible for attracting foreign direct investments into Ras al-Khaimah, and uh, especially the industrial sector. And uh, we are hoping that uh, you know the next two days, uh, I think you will have a, a, a good uh, meeting and of course uh, an opportunity for networking and I'm, I'm, I'm also very sure that some of you would use Russell Khaimah as your platform for business. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I really welcome all of you here again, and I hope you will uh, enjoy your stay in Russell Khaimah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Now, to share a few words, it's my pleasure to invite Mr. Abdel Nasser Abdullah al Ghassir. Director General of RAP Chamber of, Com of Commerce and Industries. Excellencies and honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for us, the Chamber of Commerce, to take part in this prestigious event, as it's our pleasure to meet with all and every one of you here. During the past eight years, Russell Khaimah has witnessed an outstanding economic growth as its industry and tourism sectors are the main driven forces for Russell Khaimah economy. Russell Khaimah has become a top destination in the region, attracting foreign investment from around the world. Russell Khaimah GDP rose by 8% in 2011 
and steady going up. Rasulheim enjoy a business friendly environment, competitive production cost, and excellent insurance, uh, infrastructure. Not to mention that its strategic location and natural beauty that makes it a destination for choice equally for businesses and living. In achieving our main goal as one of stakeholders in boosting Russell Khaimah economy, sustainable growth, Russell Khaimah Chamber is committed to serving both local and international business community. Through a numerous initiative focused on de uh, developing large networks, assisting investors in their journey for businesses establishment, moderating and facilitating trade relation with our economic and business international partners. Therefore, I wish to stress our, our strong desire to support and assist each and every potential business that serves mutual economic interest between us. This gathering is an important event that will boast innovate businesses ideas, as it did before in its previous sessions. With the, most, with the most positive affirmation and sustaining and existing excellent and strong bonds between our economies and our people. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Russell Kemah.